Disorder of Intellectual Development Severity Specifiers The severity of a disorder of intellectual development is determined by considering both the individual's level of intellectual ability and level of adaptive behavior, ideally assessed using appropriately normed, individually administered standardized tests. Where appropriately normed and standardized tests are not available, assessment of intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior requires greater reliance on clinical judgment based on appropriate evidence and assessment, which may include the use of behavioral indicators of intellectual and adaptive functioning. Generally, the level of severity should be assigned on the basis of the level at which the majority of the individual's intellectual ability and adaptive behavior skills across all three domains, i.e., conceptual, social, and practical skills, fall. 6A00.0, Disorder of Intellectual Development, Mild, in mild disorder of intellectual development, intellectual functioning, and adaptive behavior are found to be approximately two to three standard deviations below the mean. Tate people often exhibit difficulties in the acquisition and comprehension of complex language concepts and academic skills. Most master basic self-care, domestic, and practical activities. Affected persons can generally achieve relatively independent living and employment as adults but may require appropriate support. 6A00.1, Disorder of Intellectual Development, Moderate, Immoderate Disorder of Intellectual Development, Intellectual Functioning, and Adaptive Behavior are found to be approximately 3 to 4 standard deviations below the mean, approximately 0.003 to 0.1 percentile. Language and capacity for acquisition of academic skills of persons affected by moderate severity vary but are generally limited to basic skills. Some may master basic self-care, domestic, and practical activities. Most affected persons require considerable and consistent support for independent living and employment as adults. 6A00.2, Disorder of Intellectual Development, Severe, in severe disorder of intellectual development, intellectual functioning, and adaptive behavior are found to be approximately four or more standard deviations below the mean, less than approximately the 0.003 RD percentile. Persons affected by severe disorder of intellectual development exhibit very limited language and capacity for acquisition of academic skills. They may also have motor impairments and typically require daily support in a supervised environment for adequate care, but may acquire basic self-care skills with intensive training. Severe and profound disorders of intellectual development are differentiated exclusively on the basis of adaptive behavior differences because existing standardized tests of intelligence cannot reliably or validly distinguish among individuals with intellectual functioning below the 0.003 RD percentile. 6A00.3, Disorder of Intellectual Development, Profound, in Profound Disorder of Intellectual Development, Intellectual Functioning, and Adaptive Behavior are found to be approximately four or more standard deviations below the mean, approximately less than the 0.003 RD percentile. Persons affected by profound disorder of intellectual development possess very limited communication abilities and capacity for acquisition of academic skills is restricted to basic concrete skills. They may also have co-occurring motor and sensory impairments and typically require daily support in a supervised environment for adequate care. Severe and profound disorders of intellectual development are differentiated exclusively on the basis of adaptive behavior differences because existing standardized tests of intelligence cannot reliably or validly distinguish among individuals with intellectual functioning below the 0.003 RD percentile. 6A00.4, Disorder of Intellectual Development, Provisional, Disorder of Intellectual Development, Provisional is assigned when there is evidence of a disorder of intellectual development, but the individual is an infant or child under the age of four, making it difficult to ascertain whether the observed impairments represent a transient delay. Disorder of intellectual development, provisional in this context is sometimes referred to as global developmental delay.
The diagnosis can also be assigned in individuals four years of age of older when evidence is suggestive of a disorder of intellectual development but it is not possible to conduct a valid assessment of intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior because of sensory or physical impairments, motor or communication impairments, severe problem behaviors, or symptoms of another mental disorder that interfere with assessment. 6. A. O. O. Z. Disorders of Intellectual Development, Unspecified Differential Diagnosis of Disorder of Intellectual Development one boundary with developmental speech and language disorders. In developmental speech and language disorders, individuals exhibit difficulties in understanding or producing speech and language or in using language in context for the purposes of communication that is markedly below what would be expected given the individual's age and level of intellectual functioning. If speech and language abilities are significantly below what would be expected based on intellectual, and adaptive behavior functioning in an individual with a disorder of intellectual development, an additional diagnosis of developmental speech and language disorder may be assigned. 2. Boundary with Autism Spectrum Disorder Autism Spectrum Disorder is characterized by persistent deficits in reciprocal social interaction and social communication, and by a range of restricted, repetitive, inflexible patterns of behavior and interests. Although many individuals with autism spectrum disorder present with the significant limitations in intellectual functioning, and adaptive behavior observed in disorders of intellectual development, autism spectrum disorder can also present without general limitations in intellectual functioning. 3. Boundary with Developmental Learning Disorders Developmental learning disorders are characterized by significant and persistent difficulties in learning academic skills including reading, writing and arithmetic, with performance in these areas markedly below what would be expected for chronological age or intellectual level. Individuals with disorders of intellectual development often present with limitations in academic achievement by virtue of significant generalized deficits in intellectual functioning. It is therefore difficult to establish the co-occurring presence of a developmental learning disorder in individuals with a disorder of intellectual development. For developmental motor coordination disorder, in this disorder, individuals exhibit significant delays during the developmental period in the acquisition of gross and fine motor skills and impairment in the execution of coordinated motor skills that manifest in clumsiness, slowness, or inaccuracy of motor performance. Boundary with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder In Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, individuals show a persistent and generalized pattern of inattention and or hyperactivity impulsivity that emerges during the developmental period. Boundary with Dementia In Dementia, affected individuals, usually older adults, exhibit a decline from a previous level of functioning in multiple cognitive domains that significantly interferes with performance of activities of daily living. Boundary with other mental and behavioral disorders, other mental and behavioral disorders such as schizophrenia or other primary psychotic disorders may include symptoms that interfere with intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior. A disorder of intellectual development should not be diagnosed if the limitations are better accounted for by another mental and behavioral disorder. However, other mental and behavioral disorders are at least as prevalent in individuals with disorders of intellectual. Boundary with sensory impairments, if not addressed, sensory impairments, for example, visual, auditory, can interfere with opportunities for learning, resulting in apparent limitations in intellectual functioning or adaptive behavior. If the observed limitations are solely attributable to a sensory impairment, a disorder of intellectual development should not be assigned. However, prolonged sensory impairment throughout the critical period of development may result in the persistence of limitations in intellectual functioning or adaptive behavior, despite later intervention, and an additional diagnosis of a disorder of intellectual development may be warranted in such cases. Boundary with effects of psychosocial deprivation Extreme psychosocial deprivation in early childhood can produce severe and selective impairments in specific mental functions such as language, social interaction, and emotional expression.
Depending on the onset, level of severity and duration of the deprivation, functioning in these areas may improve substantially after the child is moved to a more positive environment. Boundary with neurodegenerative diseases Neurodegenerative diseases can be associated with disorders of intellectual development, but only if they have their onset in the developmental period, for example, mucolipidosis I, Gaucher's disease type 3. If a neurodegenerative disease co-occurs with a disorder of intellectual development, both diagnoses should be assigned. Boundary with secondary neurodevelopmental syndrome, if the diagnostic requirements of a disorder of intellectual development are not met, for example, limitations in intellectual functioning without limitations in adaptive functioning, and if the diagnostic requirements of a disorder of intellectual development are not met, for example, limitations in intellectual functioning without limitations in adaptive functioning, and if the diagnostic requirements of a disorder of intellectual development are met, for example, limitations in intellectual functioning with limitations in adaptive functioning, along with diagnosis of any above-mentioned condition, in such cases, both diagnoses may be assigned. Thanks for watching.